As a kid, I just loved scratch paper and I must say this was so much fun to make. So today I'm going to show you how to laser engrave this scratch paper using the Creality Falcon. I'm using the Creality Falcon Pro next to me and you'll get this file as part of the tutorial so you can make it alongside. Now this is the perfect project if you're a beginner so don't be daunted by this process and once you start I promise you you won't stop. It's a fairly inexpensive project because you get heaps of sheets in a pack so you won't be stopping at just this one I promise you. So let's get started and I'll give you some tips along the way about how to prepare your files to be laser engraved on scratch paper. If you have a photograph for example and you're wanting to engrave it on scratch paper you're going to need to make it a black and white image. Now when I say black and white I don't mean grayscale where you have a tonal range of grays because with scratch paper you've either engraved it or you haven't. If you do test out sort of light engrave in areas and then heavier engrave in others you really will just get a dirty mess because you're either removing that black coating and allowing that color to pop from underneath or you're not. So I would suggest if it's an image, pick up that contrast, apply a filter that really puts it into black and white such as noir filter and you will really get a nice result then. I did actually make this book which is a laminated piece of scratch paper and as you can see again it's come up really nicely using that black or white type of effect. So if you're doing your own image, pick up that contrast put on a filter and really make that image black or white. Here we are in Lightburn and as you can see I've got my image to be engraved on the workspace. I've got my Falcon Pro 60 watt laser set up via USB and it is ready. If I take you now to the cuts and layers tab you can see the mode is set to fill for engrave, the speed 19,000 millimeters per minute and the power 16%. I have the air turned off because it is an engrave I'm going to be using the precise 22 watt mode on my Falcon Pro and I have the line interval set to 0.06 for a really nice fine engrave. Now I'm going to take you to the laser and I will be framing and pressing start. Now if you do have the camera control it is brilliant. Let me just show you how quick and easy it is to frame using the camera function. So you can see the Creality camera is set up there. You can see that there and when I press update overlay and press show you can see how easy it is to align to the actual workspace. So I'm going to go back to the laser now and let's start our engrave. To engrave the scratch paper I've just popped it on a timber backing to keep it nice and flat and I'm going to be using the engraving step on the focusing tool which is that top step there. I'm actually going to pop it off to the side of the scratch paper just so I don't scratch it using that metal tool. Now I'm going to loosen these two screws on the right hand side of the laser head, bring it in and just put it on that top height there so that we have the exact engraving depth that we need for a nice focus point. Now I'm going to bring my laser head in just inside that bottom left corner so that I have a black edging around my zebra. So I'm going to press frame now. And that's framing up really nicely. I'm using start from current position. So it is starting from where I put my laser head manually. So I'm ready to press start and start this project. Engraving is now out of the laser and it's looking fantastic. Now you will find that that sort of sooty black paint overlay will just leave a little bit of dust behind. So I'm going to use this soft cloth and just give it a little wipe just to get that excess off. Now use something nice and soft because you don't want to scratch that black layer and you reveal any more of the underneath color. I'm now going to use a satin spray varnish just to seal this engraving and stop it from being bumped and more of that black coming off. So I'm going to spray that now. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see the varnish is now dry and it gives that beautiful satin finish now there's no reason why you can't use the high gloss lacquer I just really love the effect of satin and you'll find that it does actually give that color a bit of a pop once you spray it with the lacquer and it gives that nice sheen on the black which was very very like dead black um, it didn't sort of have any shine to it at all it is fairly strong now that it's been lacquered in the fact that if you're framing this piece or you know putting it up on the wall it's probably not going to scratch unless you really dig a fingernail or something metal into it however it's not bulletproof so for the exercise book that I did for my daughter's school um, I actually did laminate this piece and as you can see that gives it a real sheen to it and again you can see it's sort of that gold yellow pop um, it looks fantastic so it's a little bit sad that cassette tapes are now so retro but I think you'll agree you know it really does make this very bulletproof you're not going to be able to scratch that um, as for this one you know if I'm scratching with my fingernail it's not coming off but you know it's not going to be as strong as you laminate it so keep that in mind depending on whether you're framing your piece sticking it on the wall as is like a poster or you know using it every day on the front cover of a book for example but I think you'll agree you know the finish is fantastic and I'm really pleased with the way the zebra came out thanks so much for watching today I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial of the zebra wearing sunglasses and I'd love to see the projects that you laser engrave on this scratch paper now there are multiple colors in the packs and it's a mystery as to what color you're going to get when you pop it down on the laser bed so I have engraved also on pink and green and they look fantastic too and it's as I said a mystery as to what color you're going to end up with and I just happen to have two sort of golden yellow pages here so show me what you make I'm really interested to see how you go with both your uh, zebra and then also your own files as well so thanks again for watching until next time I'm Heidi I'm the crafty socialite on social media and thanks to Creality Falcon for sponsoring this tutorial I hope you got a lot out of it and until next time See you then.